When Notre Dame Cathedral burned, the world watched aghast. Afterwards, the same people who had balked at the projected 150 million euro cost of restoration poured out their treasure, raising over a billion euros in record time. Emmanuel Macron pledged to rebuild the landmark, announcing a competition to design the new roof and spire, and that's when practically everyone seems to have forgotten the ancient character of this World Heritage Site. At the risk of seeming insensitive to the damage wrought to the cathedral, it's time for some roasted opinions. Now, the logical thing to do to restore the cathedral to many would be to rebuild it exactly as it was, in appearance if not in every detail. Again, it's a World Heritage Site. It should look the part, don't you think? If it was listed for special preservation because of its status as the best standing example of French Gothic architecture, then shouldn't it remain, you know, French Gothic architecture? Oh no, we can't do that at least not based upon the proposals listed on Board Panda in their article. 17 artists suggest Notre Dame Cathedral reconstruction designs, linked in the description. All were submitted by architects who evidently took Edouard Philippe's call for a fresh look to heart. Now this design keeps the character of the spire, but re-roofs in glass. The space above the vault can be an observation deck, perhaps even a greenhouse. Look, I understand wanting to take advantage of the views for the tourists, but the cathedral is not just a tourist site. It is a religious site, a place of worship, and perhaps enhancing the views will detract from the sanctity of the space. Still, if the cathedral has to be different, this is the least offensive proposal. It seems that the architects for this proposal have largely agreed that the space needs to be a glass vaulted greenhouse. What is this postmodernist nonsense? Now, I like geodesics, and I like the notion of a cathedral built with geodesic elements in the design, but not surviving Gothic stonework capped by this monstrosity. Okay, what is it with greenhouses? Why do we need a Green New Deal for a Gothic cathedral? Oh, and I love honeybees, having kept them as a child, but a spire full of beehives? Did Ocasio-Cortez design this? Well, at least it's a roof and not a greenhouse. I don't mind the copper spire so much, but there's a restoration on the cheap vibe to this proposal. Sorry, but it's a no from me. Oh look, another greenhouse. And see, not just the roof has trees. Even the spire has its own trees and great open windows to allow the air to pass through. How is a thinly framed, delicate structure like this supposed to hold up live growing trees? Plus, what's with the light? ET phone home? Glass again, to illuminate the space below this time. That'll work because there isn't a ribbed vault separating the roof from the space below. Oh wait, there is. Next! Did they just photoshop out the old roof and replace it with massive glass panels? Notre Dame can be a jewel in the heart of Paris without looking like a giant cubic zirconium. Moving on. Do we really need to turn the roof into an open-air education project? Really? Not a bad notion supporting education, but this design looks like it belongs to a megachurch. There's already a crystal cathedral, and thanks to some recent purchases, it's actually owned by the Catholic Church. Next, please. Well, props for putting stained glass on a cathedral. Half credit for making the entire roof out of stained glass. This isn't a greenhouse, but it isn't gothic either. It isn't exactly green as well, because to admire all that stained glass at night means that lighting will have to be installed and left on to illuminate it from underneath. Let's move on. Where's the roof? Oh look, there it is, freaking glass again, and this time enough to make the roof look like a suggestion instead of a structure. It's a no from me. Oh look, Disney submitted a proposal too. Elsa would be right at home there. And like Elsa, this design's got me saying, let it go. Oh good, now that the cathedral has survived a fire, we're going to impale it. Talk about screwing the church. 
Next. I thought that number four looked like a restoration on the cheap. This proposal makes that one look like a high dollar investment. No. Oh, for the love of God. Next. Well, since there's a proposal that's all stained glass and another that's straight out of Frozen, there just has to be one that looks like Christmas threw up on Notre Dame. And she's buying a stairway to heaven. Um, no. Just, no. Look, folks, while Notre Dame was extensively damaged, even partially destroyed by some estimates, this isn't the same situation as Notre Dame de Lourdes Church in Fall River, Massachusetts. That church, also a gorgeous and architecturally significant structure, also happened to catch fire during restoration efforts. But unfortunately for Notre Dame de Lourdes, it was completely destroyed in the fire. It didn't need to be repaired and restored, it needed to be completely rebuilt from the foundations up. The parish was fortunate that one of their stained glass windows was off-site for repairs during the fire, and that window was incorporated into the new building's construction. But as a historian, there was no reason but sentiment to rebuild a duplicate of the original structure. Notre Dame de Paris is still significantly intact and still a World Heritage Site. If any of these proposals are selected, that status may be jeopardized, just as Chicago's Soldier Field was jeopardized. Now, it was listed on the National Register for its unique architecture, but in 2002, a massive rebuild project largely removed the significant architectural and historical elements of the stadium, leaving, for all practical purposes, a completely new building installed within the remodeled outer shell of the stadium. By 2006, it was officially delisted, one of several such historically significant structures in America which were transformed into just another stylishly current building. This strikes me as a very foolish approach. These sites were listed for preservation because they are, or were at least, historically and culturally significant. The real attraction and charm for visiting them is that they provide us all with a link to our past. When we visit them, we see what our ancestors could accomplish with much simpler tools and locally available materials. They are windows into the history of our culture and anchor points for our collective heritage. Notre Dame needs to be rebuilt, and I don't think anyone is arguing that. It should use modern materials as necessary to make the building a safer place, but every reasonable effort needs to be made to restore the appearance of the building to its original state. Perhaps the roof can be clad in aluminum instead of lead and framed in structural steel sheathed in oak instead of solid oak beams. Those changes would make the structure more resistant to another fire and lighten the weight of the roof and spire pressing down upon the remaining stone structure, which may have some hidden damage. In effect, the replacement of the destroyed elements could help the entire site last a couple centuries longer than it might have otherwise. As for these postmodernist reinterpretations of the roof, well, let's hope that wiser heads prevail and the Grand Dame is restored to her former glory.